Hey guys, so recently a priest at World Youth Day went viral for his DJing skills. But before we get into details, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Okay, so the recently concluded World Youth Day received a lot of attention for inspiring young Catholics to live out their faith, potential miracles and a DJ priest. Padre Guilherme, a Portuguese priest also known as the DJ priest, went viral for his unique way of waking up the youth after a night vigil. Here's a clip. Well, the priest and bishop seem to be enjoying themselves. I don't think I've ever been woken up to techno music before. Must have been some kind of unique experience. Anyways, people online had very extreme reactions to this. While some labelled it blasphemous and inappropriate before Holy Mass, others saw it as harmless one way of waking up the kids. Another clip from the priest's YouTube channel went viral and drew even more negative reactions for its Halloween-style DJ set. Here's a clip. This is very different from what happened at the World Youth Day. Even though they are singing Give Peace a Chance, everything else seems much further from anything I've seen at church. The priest probably shouldn't have performed at this kind of a Halloween party with witches, crystal balls and devil horns. But keeping this performance aside, most people had a problem with the DJ priest because they felt that this kind of music is inappropriate and unholy, especially at World Youth Day and before Holy Mass. But what if the priest had played this music at any other event? Would it still be considered unholy? Would it be okay if it was a lay person and not a priest? Now, many people felt that there was nothing explicitly vulgar or evil about techno music. There are many popular songs that do not have explicit lyrics, sexual innuendos or vulgar music videos. So the question is this, is it wrong for Christians to listen to pop songs or anything mainstream? Should they avoid anything other than say Gregorian chant or mass hymns? To answer this, let's first understand what the purpose of music and art serve. Now, music and arts are divine gifts bestowed on humanity by God. Through sacred music and sacred art, man bridges the divide between the earthly and the spiritual. The Catechism says that it is the means of expressing the truth about our relationship with God. Pope St. John Paul II added to this by saying that artists reflect the image of God more than ever by sharing in his creative power. Pope John Paul II goes on to say, the artist has a special relationship to beauty. In a very true sense, it can be said that beauty is the vocation bestowed on him by the creator in the gift of artistic talent. And certainly, this too is a talent which ought to be made to bear fruit in keeping with the sense of the gospel parable of the talents. Artists use sacred art to lift our hearts and minds to God to help us ponder and reflect on His timeless beauty and eternal glory. It is meant to capture the mystery and holiness of God in a way that inspires us to praise and worship God. Art was also used to communicate theological truths and concepts, especially at a time when most people were still illiterate. Some of the world's greatest masterpieces have religious themes and are often based on biblical events like the creation of Adam, David, La Pieta and the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo, The Last Supper and The Virgin of the Rocks by Leonardo da Vinci, The Calling of Matthew, The Beheading of John the Baptist and The Conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio or The Return of the Prodigal Son and The Storm on the Sea by Rembrandt. 
Even sacred music like Requiem by Mozart, Messiah by Handel, Misa Solemnis by Beethoven, St. John's Passion by Bach, or Gloria by Vivaldi have connections to the Catholic faith. But why did the church commission such works of art? Why did artists choose to base their works on religious themes? What impact does art or music have on us? Music and arts affect our emotions, our mood and the way we think and feel. It could provoke us to anger, sadness or be uplifting and encouraging. It could bring us joy or sorrow. But what should it ideally do? The Catechism says the fine arts but above all sacred art of their nature are directed towards expressing in some way the infinite beauty of God in works made by human hands. Their dedication to the increase of God's praise and of His glory is more complete the more exclusively they are devoted to turning men's minds devoutly towards God. The Catechism goes on to say that genuine sacred art draws man to adoration, to prayer and to the love of God. This is because art is meant to reflect God's truth and beauty. Of course, this is easy to understand when we listen to sacred music like traditional hymns or Gregorian chants or look at sacred art like the Madonna and the Child. But what about modern secular music, art, movies or TV shows? Should I only watch or listen to things with religious themes? If it's not religious, does it pollute our soul? Is it sinful? Do we need to give up everything and live like a desert monk to even try and be holy? No, not really. Music and art have the power to touch the depths of the human soul, to awaken emotions and the ability to express the inexpressible. They inspire us to think about the beauty present all around us. They go beyond any language barriers and can communicate universal truths in a deeply meaningful way. It lifts us up and inspires us to go beyond our day-to-day -day circumstances to something more. This is true not only for sacred art but also for secular art. Pope St. John Paul II said, Every genuine art form in its own way is a path to the innermost reality of man and of the world. That is why the gospel fullness of truth was bound from the beginning to stir the interest of artists who by their very nature are alert to every epiphany of the inner beauty of things. While the Catholic Church doesn't stop you from listening to a certain genre of music or watching your favorite TV show, you should be mindful of the influence it could have on you. While some are blatantly sinful and borderline pornographic and should be avoided, others aren't obviously problematic or evil. It's important to strike a balance without compromising on your faith. So, how do you draw the line with secular music or art? For Catholics, discernment plays a major role in deciding whether to indulge in something. Ask yourself, what is this content or message of the song? Is it good for my soul? What emotions do I feel after I listen to this type of music or watch a particular show? Does it reflect the virtues I am striving to cultivate? Or does it contradict my faith and morals? Does it make me think of God? At the end of the day, choosing to engage in secular music or arts should be based on your own discernment and good judgment. The choices you make about the media you consume reflect your values and beliefs as a Catholic. Your choices could either help you progress on your spiritual journey or become an obstacle to growing in faith. So, what do you think about this? Should Christians ever listen to secular music or watch secular art? Or is it bad for your soul? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this new format, let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel. Until next time.